Well, hey guys, Dan Giles here. Just got home from work. Got a little package here. See what we got. Ah. This is a soap dispenser for a dishwasher. Our KitchenAid dishwasher, the seals come off and makes it where the door doesn't want to latch. Ordered a new one, came in. So I'm gonna show you how to install this soap dispenser on your dishwasher. Now ours is a KitchenAid, so it shouldn't be too hard to get in there and get this piece replaced. But first, priorities. Like I said, I just got home from work, so first things first. So like I said, my dishwasher has to have a new soap dispenser and this is what it looks like. You can see this little seal right here is giving way. Well, actually, it's, it's done now. It's coming apart. Whatever that seal is, it came off and it was stopping this door from latching. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Wasn't cheap, but if you want the soap to dispense like it's supposed to in the middle of the cycle or wherever it does it, you definitely want your soap dispenser to work. So I'll go through the steps of how I'm gonna replace it and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is take all these screws out. Oh, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them to get that panel loose. So, I go through those steps, I'm gonna take those screws out. And that's a Torx head screw. Remember that 11 in one Klein tool I was telling you about? This is where it's gonna come in handy. Cause they actually have Torx bits in that, in that set. So, the trusty 11 in one with the Torx bit, it's gonna be perfect for pulling these screws out. Don't try it with a Phillips head screwdriver, you'll booger up the inside of that, that screw the head itself and you'll never get it out so if you're going to do this job make sure you have the right tools klein 11 in one i'll put a link in the description below that way if you don't have one and you want one you'll have a source to get them go ahead and take out the 10 screws that surround this door so it's going to be a time consuming little process of getting these screws out and probably putting them back in again. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these screws out and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to take this door apart. All right, so I got the door panel off and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove this wire, unplug it right here on the main circuit board, or this is the computer I'm guessing here. So we're gonna unplug it right here, push that little retainer on the bottom, unplug it, and there you go guys, comes right out. Now you can set this aside because the last thing you want to do is scratch up your door on your dishwasher. That would be bad. So there's our old dispenser right there. So I went ahead and pulled this wire off of this little retainer clip that it went under and I'm going to unplug However it comes out, 
the little harness that feeds into our dispenser. Somewhere in the cycle, it tells this dispenser to release. It opens the door and lets the soap drop out. Well, if your door doesn't close, then you can't get the soap to drop out. You gotta replace the dispenser. That's where we are. So I'm gonna leave these wires connected to this because this metal plate up here, it, although it's got a retainer on it, and it's got one right here too that holds this. You just get a screwdriver. And for this, it's three little tabs up there on the top. So what I'm gonna have to do is get a putty knife and go under these three and hold them there. Then get a screwdriver to pull these back just a little bit enough to let it release past these little plastic clips right there. And the same on the other side. And there's nothing on the bottom. That's really all I gotta do, is just raise these metal pieces up just enough for this dispenser to slide forward and pull out. Let me get that going right now. All right, got my trusty putty knife, got a regular screwdriver, and what I'm gonna do is lift up on these three little metal tabs, and as I do, I'm gonna slide my putty knife under it so that I can hold that in place. I'll do the same with the second one. And as I'm doing this, and it's not going to be a fun little project. It's, it's going to bite you a little bit. And be very careful not to bend your door. This is your inner door. You don't want to bend that. So take your time with it if you have to. And I lost one of them here. Just kind of lift this thing out. Don't let it slide back in place. And there you go. All right, so we got that out. I'll open the door up here so you can see what's... There's a big gaping hole in our dishwasher door. That's not going to be good. But we'll fix that. Do a little bit of cleanup around the edges because that's where your seal is going to go on the new dispenser, just like the old one. There's a rubber seal all the way around it. So, now all this one does is just kind of snap into place. Just snaps into place. These little retainer clips here on the side. There's three of them on the top. And one on this side. And that's what's going to hold this in. By these metal clips that you see here. Now be careful on these because they are quite sharp. You don't want to cut yourself on that. Putting these in is going to be a little bit of a challenge but you know when you're taking the old one out take your time with it. Don't go bending up all your metal plates and, and the, the pieces that keep that in place. That's going to be a lot nicer. 
it actually sticks in place when you close it. And the seal's actually in place too, so that'll be cool. Alright, so the install on this is just as, is actually a little bit easier than the demolition part of it. So, go ahead and open up the door. This piece should just snap right into place. Then the hardest part's gonna be putting all those screws back in place. So make sure you get this lined up like it's supposed to. Just like so. It's gonna close down. So this piece is just gonna, you'll set it in the hole. And you'll hear all those retainers clip it in place. You come back in here, make sure that you're secure underneath all of these. This one needs to be pushed in a little bit right here. All right, so we'll go ahead and plug our wire back up. Just like so. We'll go ahead and put this back underneath that retainer. Keeps that wire nice and snug. We kept everything in place up here. So now we're good to go. Now when you put this door back together, this little plastic piece up here on the top, that may come loose on you. You wanna make sure that you get that back down in place so that you're getting a good seal across that door when you put your outer panel back on. So now all that's left is going ahead and button this thing up. And as you can see, I got a little load of dishes that need to be washed. We'll load up a soap dispenser, put it on a wash, come back later after it's been doing its cycle, and make sure that our soap dispensed like it should. All right, I got all the screws back in the door. Everything looks good on the dispenser. She seated in really good, so I'm going to put a soap pod in here. Yeah, that's nice that it closes like that every time. I'm going to go ahead and hit a light wash and a start. And let her do her job. Well, there you go, guys. Changing out that dispenser on your dishwasher. It's a little bit of a challenge, but you know what? You can do it. Just, I'm going to give you a tip right now. Be very patient. Don't try to rush through it. Take your time with it. And above all, watch those metal pieces around that dispenser because they are sharp and they will cut you. And the last thing you want to do is bleed all over one of your appliances. So, there you go. Hey, while I got you here, I'm going to let you know. I am doing a giveaway. That's right. A 10,000 subscriber giveaway. When my channel hits 10,000 subscribers, one of you guys is going to win this set of tools. What? What do you got to do? Okay, here you go. All you have to do is leave me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what do you do for a living and how you want to use these tools. How are you going to use these tools? Give me a thumbs up on the video and share this video. Simple guys, that's all I'm asking. You could be the winner of a Klein six piece set of hand tools. They're all brand new in the box, though wrapped up in their little wrappers. This is a hundred dollar value. Hey, if you don't want to wait till we reach that 10,000 mark, I'll leave a description below on where you can buy this. Like I said, it's right about a hundred bucks worth of tools. I'd rather give it away to you. So go ahead, leave me a comment. Tell me what you do and how you're going to use them. Give me a thumbs up and share this video. 
I hope I've been helpful to you today, and I hope that you'll stay tuned for the next episode. My name is Dan Giles. I'll see you soon.